Hello Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. Looks like somebody forced your hand. Looks like somebody was pretending to want to be in a relationship with you and they didn't think that you were going to find out that they were playing games. A lot of you guys have found out that you were dealing with somebody that was playing games with you. Whoever this particular person was, this person felt like they had you exactly where they wanted you is what I feel with this particular connection. I do feel like your intuition led you to see some things or find out some things about this particular person or else you just knew that this person was playing games with you. When you realize this person was playing games with you, Capricorn, I do feel like you proceeded to cut this person off at this point in time. Some of you guys may have blocked this particular person with this energy here. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to hear from you because you've completely pulled away from the connection. Now that you pulled away from this connection, here this person is looking crazy, worried, thinking they potentially lost you for good this time. Capricorn, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate all of you. Drop the zodiac sign of the person on your mind so I can continue to pull their energy. Like the video so I can pull your energy. I will be doing an extended to this reading. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. Capricorn. Reconciliation, I told you. I told you they would be back begging for, for, for forgiveness. I can feel this all over this reading because they're up. They're not sleeping. They've been up all night, worried. As I said, I do feel like a lot of you guys even blocked them. You went all the way. You blocked a particular person. Some of you guys may have even deleted the text thread from this particular person. But you don't want to hear it. You don't want to talk to them. They've tried to talk. They've tried to contact you. If they haven't, they will be really soon. And when you do turn this person down, it's going to put this person in a frantic. I see somebody up, worried, stressing, thinking they've lost you, begging to come back into your life after you cut them out. Capricorn, what I see here is somebody tried to play with the wrong goat. They thought you, they wanted to be the player and you thought you showed them you was the coach. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn regarding this connection. It was their ego. Whoever this particular person is, it was their ego. This person thought you needed them. This person didn't think you was going to ever let go of this connection. They thought you was going to continue to hold on to this forever. So somebody thought they was more than what they really were. You could have been dealing with a Libra. Very imbalanced energy here. I feel like you put more into this connection than you got back in return from this connection and then you started to realize this person isn't going to pour into me like I'm pouring into them is what I see when it comes to you guys energy they're longing they're longing to talk to you Capricorn so whoever this particular person is that was playing games because I do feel like games have been really played with this particular person at this point in time this individual the tables are turning this particular person is full of pain let's pull some tarot on this and see where this is going so what I see is that the tables are turning at this point. If they haven't started to turn for you yet, that is the energy of the Capricorn. So I do see the tables are about to turn in this connection with you and this particular person. The person that was once playing games with you and didn't want to commit to you, as soon as this person realizes that you're completely done or that you blocked them, even if you're not done, when they realize they're cut off by you, now they want something completely different from you. Now they come back begging for forgiveness from you. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn regarding this connection. Capricorn. Give me Capricorn's energy. Give me Capricorn's energy when it comes to this connection. Capricorn. Ace of Swords, I feel like you want to talk. You're going to talk. How lovely, sweetheart. I got it now. Ace of Swords. Capricorn, I do feel like you want to talk, but I feel like you only want to hear the truth. 
You ain't just out here trying to be talking to this particular person. If they not coming with the truth, you're going to ignore them. This is what I see with this particular person. Right now, your intuition is is in two, is very high. So you can feel it. You know when this person is lying. And even if your intuition was high, you know when they're lying anyway because you know this particular individual. So you do want to talk, but what you want to hear is the truth. If it's not the truth, you're going to ignore it. You see this bird? This bird is turning the other cheek. I'm not going to respond to you until I feel like you're ready to tell me the truth. I'm not going to respond to you until I feel like you're done playing with me. So Capricorn, I do feel like you do want to talk, but you're refusing to talk until you feel like this particular person is done playing games with you. You feel like this person has taken your kindness for your weakness and you're fed up. The challenge for you when it comes to the connection with this particular individual three of wands, energy. The challenge here, this is the thing, Capricorn, with you. You want something better, but you're having a hard time letting go of this. You're scared. There's a lot of fear. You got, Some of you guys have a lot of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what else is out there. That's why you, you're still willing to talk. Part of you wants to let go and jump out here in this water, but you're afraid if you jump out there, you really may drown. Thank you, lovely peaches, sweetheart, for the $4.99 super chat. I truly appreciate you. A lot of you guys are wanting to let go of this because you know the person has played with you, but you're afraid. You're afraid if you jump out here in this water, you may get sucked up by a tidal wave or something. So there's a lot of fear in your energy when it comes to moving on and trying to find someone new. You've got, you're comfortable. You're comfortable. You're mad at them, but you're comfortable with them at this point in time. The way you view this particular person that you're dealing with, you feel trapped. You feel stuck. I, I, I feel a history. I feel a long history for some of you guys. With this eight of swords, it's like I feel trapped free. Every time I try to break free, they come back and they hold me down even more. There's an energy of feeling like this person has got you stuck in this connection and you can't let go of it. As I stated, I really feel like a lot of you guys want to let go, but it's like every time you try to let go, they come back and they pull on your energy. So you're in this space of where you feel trapped and you can't get out of this. Some of you guys have given up on hope. This person has given up on love. This person has put you in an energy to where you're pretty much giving up on love. The way you feel about reconciling with this particular person, you feel like they got to prove themselves to you at this point in time. You are open to it, but you do want this person to prove themselves to you. You don't want to hear no whole. You don't want all of these text messages. You don't want to hear a whole lot of talking. Tell the truth and show me that you're really seeking something serious. So the way you feel about reconnecting with this person, you want this particular person to prove themselves. You're, you, you want them to show you something. They got to show you. Talking is just not going to be enough this time when it comes to this particular person. Deep down up underneath everything, Capricorn, you're hurting. You're stuck. You feel drained. You feel like you can't move on. You feel like you've been betrayed. And I feel like it's way deeper than this person, honestly. With this ten of swords here coming out this chimney, this is showing me that a lot of you guys have been betrayed by other people. This is just one person that has betrayed you. There was a time when this person was good to you, and you that's what you expected it to always be. That's why you kind of go back, give this person another opportunity. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy is here. So you, you feel like you've been hurt. You're disappointed. You're disappointed with people and you're definitely disappointed with this particular person. I feel like a lot of you guys have had this person's back when nobody else will have their back. And the thought that they would just sit here and backstab you the way they did you or treat you the way they've done you, you're hurting. You're having a hard time letting go. Actions I see you taking when it comes to this connection with this particular person, the magician. This magician can be pretty tough. This magician can be pretty tough. 
Gemini energy. See, it depends on what Capricorn you are. And I'll say, and I'm going to just keep it all the way 100 with you. You know which side of the spectrum you, you, you land on. You know, I don't. But some of you guys will even go as far as trying to cast love spells on this person. Others of you will just try to manifest a connection into fruition. And then we got that other set that will try to play mind games by making this person jealous. I have three different sets of Capricorns here. It depends on the Capricorn you are. If you are that Capricorn that believes in spell work and you practice in spell work before, that's what you're going to do to get this person to commit to you because you are comfortable here. This is what this is your comfort zone when it comes to this particular person. You'll do anything to have this person in your life. You feel like you, this person got to die out of this relationship with you is what I see with this particular person. Yes, you're hurting. Yes, you feel betrayed, but you're scared to jump in this water and try something new. Then I have this set of Capricorns who is a master, master manifester, and you know you can manifest anything that you want. Those of you guys that know that you can manifest whatever it is that you want, you're going to manifest this person back into your life. Even though you're manifesting them back into your life, you're afraid. You're afraid of what they're going to do when they do come back into your life. You're manifesting them back, but you want them to show you, but you also know that they betrayed you before. So you're really scared, but you're willing to take this chance because this is somebody that you love. And then I have that set of Capricorns who is going to start trying to make this person jealous by playing mind games with this person. So what I see with you guys, Capricorn, I see I got two, like I say, three different sets of Capricorns here. It depends on which Capricorn you are. If you're that Capricorn, if you, you know which spectrum you fall under. Let's take a sneak peek into the extended to see how this is going to play out. You can expect for them to come back begging, begging for forgiveness, regardless which Capricorn you're falling under the spectrum of. They're going to come back begging for forgiveness. They're up right now. They're stressing. They're not, they're losing sleep. They're not sleeping at night and they're not doing that because they've tried to contact you and you blocked them. If you didn't block them, you didn't answer the phone or they've got caught by you. You're acting different. You're doing something that makes this person feels like you're slipping away. That was never this person's intention. They didn't want you to slip away. They thought they had you just where they wanted you. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn regarding this connection. Capricorn. Show me how this will unfold for Capricorn and this person. If you're interested in the extended, there is a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If you're seeking something more personal, my contact information is in the description box below as well. Is this person in love with Capricorn? Is this lust or are they using Capricorn? Did they ever love Capricorn? What is their intentions for the future with Capricorn? Do they regret how they've treated Capricorn? Will they ever apologize and it be sincere? Does this person miss Capricorn if there is no communication? Can Capricorn trust them if they do take them back? Is there a third party they're dealing with? If so, what's going on with them and the third party? Are they in love with the third party? Is the third party in love with this particular person? Are they sleeping around with multiple people? If so, how will these connections play out? What has this person been hiding from Capricorn this entire time? Where, is this Capricorn soulmate or a karmic lesson? Will they reach out in 30 days? Should Capricorn give this person another chance or try to reach out to them? And will this ever lead to a long-term exclusive relationship for Capricorn and this person. Capricorn, if you're interested in how it will unfold with this person, there is a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. There also will be a singles reading in the extended as well. If this is where we depart, remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you're seeking a personal reading, my contact information is in the description box below. I'm sending love and light your way, Capricorn. Namaste.